Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Augusto Argandonia Fine Arts. Anytime in this narrated tutorial, you can click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. This particular demonstration is another one in my new series of what I call 20 minute watercolor. This particular image is uh, on a beach and one of the uh, our tropical beaches here in Florida and uh, it will with a little bit of a stormy sky so it'll be a, a sort of like an overcast sky so let's go ahead and start with this demonstration I'm going to start by adding quite a bit of water to the sky area uh, just clean water to my sky Come down all the way to with the with the to the horizon line. Uh, quite a bit of water there because it's going to be very stormy. Like that. I'm going to bring it right down to to where the some of the vegetation will be. that and then I'm gonna bring in some uh, cloudy stormy type colors I'm gonna use some ultramarine blue and brown matter and make it very dark and uh, come over here maybe some of those colors over here like that Okay. I'm also going to bring in the same colors, ultramarine blue, very dark, and some uh, burnt sienna into that mix to make a little different, different type of uh, gray. Bring it over here like that. Ultramarine blue will make it really dark and with the burnt sienna and the, the brown matter. Really dark in some of those areas here, and especially down towards the horizon. Bring some of that over here. that some over here too papers dry in that corner I'm gonna leave it like that clean my brush I'm gonna bring a little bit of uh, manganese blue and cobalt blue to show some of the uh, blue sky that's in, even in this stormy sky there's a little bit of the blue going like this uh, maybe a little bit of blue into the distance too not too much there a little bit over here combine it there like that and that's pretty much it for that sky so while that's I'm gonna clean my brush really good uh, I'm gonna bring some water over here from the sand where this white sand will be but uh, there will be some some of the color there bring some of that brown matter with this gray a little bit more of that gray over here imitate some of the colors that are in the in the sky to the sand like that in my brush and soften that sand area and then we'll see how this is happening that's great now I'm gonna get some paper paper towels 
I'm gonna remove some of the excess moisture into this area. I like that the way that's going. Okay, now I'm gonna change brushes to a round brush. Uh, I'm gonna bring some uh, raw sienna with uh, the cobalt blue and put some of that raw sienna here. Uh, a little bit more of the raw sienna. Also some burnt amber mixed there. Like that. Bordering the edges of the where that sand is gonna be. Uh, change brushes again, come up with my flat brush. And come over here where some of these grasses will be, the, some of the areas where those dunes will be, some sepia mixed into that color with a little bit of the green. And come over here. Like that there. Separate the bristles in my brush and come over here and do a little bit of the grasses that are coming out of the these dunes. Like that there. Some over here too. Not too much. Come over here. Like that there. Can okay, now change my brush, clean my brush again and pick up some of the burnt amber mixed with uh, on the sea green a little bit of the paints of the i'm sorry the sepia that's what i'm calling and a lot of paints gray and while well, this still still kind of damp do some of the details of this Greenery that's over here. Like that. A little bit more of the paints gray with the sepia and the undersea green. And uh, there's some of those that vegetation over here. Come down. here just like that there we are I'm gonna pick up another brush add a little bit of moisture to this area not too much and uh, bring some of those colors Sienna into that area where the, some of the green that's in my palette, a little bit of cerulean blue, like that. There we are. There, um, come over here and do some same thing with the grasses. here and bring some of that raw sienna, some of these lighter colors, there we are. Uh, while that's drying, I'm going to mix, get some manganese blue with paints gray and do the water. It's because of the storm, there's a lot of wave pattern so I'm gonna leave some whites for the
crest of the waves. There. Come down right to the shore. There we are. And smooth out that line. There. Now, I'm going to get a smaller brush. Uh, get a smaller brush here. Here's my smaller brush. Here's my smaller brush. Pick up some sepia and some ultramarine blue. And do some of the stumps of. Uh, old trees or something that's on the by the beach and get some of the details also of the other things put some twigs and so forth coming out of the sand and put uh, maybe a some trunks, old trunks of things like that. And uh, I'm gonna put, put a little bit of that color over here, a little darker. And while that's dark there, I'm gonna pick up some, some, something like that. Uh, put a little bit a little darker over here. There's some textures there too. That's pretty much it. And um, get back to a little bit more raw sienna with a dry brush. And I'm gonna do a little bit more of the details of grasses here. And bring some of some over here. And that's pretty much it. Clean my brush. Add some water over here. And bring some of those dark colors of the sand. Like that. A little bit of the cerulean blue mixed there. No birds flying this time, and that's enough for the for this 20 minute. Dry this up a little bit and put my signature. Um, there it is, 20 minute watercolor.